Paul McCone, welcome back. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Got a bit of an armband, so is, is it this extra weight of the armband next season, is it gonna is it gonna affect you at all? No. I, I had it for a bit of the last season, so I'm used to that by now. Yeah. Back to your old uh, Hales Owen days when you were the old skipper for three years, is it? Yeah. And the Starbridge days. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you should know what you're doing then. All being well, hopefully we can uh, kick on from where we finished. Yeah. At the end of last season last three four week, months of the season we, we were brilliant though weren't we yeah uh, to be fair Gav sent me a, a, a screenshot I couldn't believe where we come from yeah I think it was January the 1st um, January the 31st sorry and we were eight points adrift from relegation yeah I couldn't believe from there where the finish of the season was yeah massive turnaround yeah Fortunately, I think it was uh, a bit down to the one sat the other side of the camera. Yeah, well, we'll, have, came, we'll have him back. in a minute. He, he knows how to stop a penalty, doesn't he? Yeah, when, when he came back, it, it transformed us. He, he hit the form at the, the perfect timing for us. He really did. Yeah, he's looking a bit trimmer as well, isn't he? <laughs> he's definitely been, definitely been looking after himself. Definitely. I think we'll start this on the Stratford Town blog and just have a good old laugh. Yeah. And, uh, just give it a crack. So uh, we've, you know, done, we've done a few of these now, haven't we? Oh, we've done a few. We were usually off a of camera, though. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but uh, this is first day back. You've all come to sign your sign your life away, sign to your uh, Stratford time for this season, and uh, you know we 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 start the season full of hope. There's some some good names, some good prospects, people coming back, and um, you know we've got a, a good season. It's a strange season because we got the likes of Telford, Kettering, and uh, Levington that have come down from the league above. They all, unless they capitulate and uh, and uh, don't want to chase after uh, going back in the league, then you know, there's some tough fixtures coming up potentially. The only plus side of looking at that is that's what we're all here for. Yeah, you uh, you'd rather be playing against the let's say the better teams than you would be the less so better teams it's uh, it might be a little bit more difficult year anybody keeps saying it to me anyway there's a tough league but I think last season was a tough league um, so all that's done is made it slightly bit tougher but it, it gives you a yeah I don't say you want to be the underdog I don't think that's the right word of saying it but I think everybody underestimated Stratford and they were right to up until we hit that bit of form and I think we were still being underestimated people turned into games and to be fair we were a hard to beat team Yeah. after we uh, all started probably taking on board what was being told um, nobody would want to have played us Yeah. and that's where we need to keep the season off rather than waiting for something to spur us on to that this year and, and, it, and in the end we were a little bit un unlucky with the, the results that we did have I mean we went to Tamworth and we were absolutely on a roll and the, virtually half the team were uh, vomiting in the in the changing rooms before the game, we shouldn't have even walked on the pitch, let alone, you know, and, and then only to get beat by the, the league winners two 0 Yeah, yeah. To be fair, take away everything that I just said, apart from that one game. Yeah, yeah. That that was the one, and yeah. you just give a bit of a reasoning for why. And a few were injured on that game. A few were ill. Sorry, a few were ill a little bit after that. Um, unfortunately, we didn't have a, a massive squad because that's not how we work here, but. You lose a few of those players, and it does affect you. Yeah, we we lost a couple of experienced players, and and we wish them all the best in 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 their in their future games. But we've got the likes of Ice coming back, uh, y yourselves, Liam. So th there's a bit of a core going through the middle, and and Callum Ebanks is signing today. Yeah, it's a it's a massive a massive thing though. The the core of the team, the spine of the team, whichever way you want to call it. We weren't we were good. If we can keep majority of that core of yep. the team then hopefully we can kick on from what we uh, finish the year off with yep um, yeah I, I'm really looking forward to it I mean we've got the, the heck of a lot of home games in, in July again um, with with opposition that we can hopefully get results from to, to build a bit of confidence massively massively the yeah it's a good and a bad thing really but the pitch out there is absolutely phenomenal so to have the chance to play on there for the whole of July, yeah, it's brilliant for us. You ain't going to know bobbly rubbish pitches. Um, but in all fairness, I don't think this season there'll be many of those with the calibre of team that have come down. But I still, there's not many that will uh, live up to this pitch. And, and the way the league's worked out this year, it looks like we've lost five carpets. I mean, plastic pitches. <laughs> 
my knees have said thank you anyway I know that for a fact Maka we'll have some fun this season best of luck to you and welcome back thank you very much Tottenham. Maka there's no chance of quarter over in here son is there you're 